So after the project is awarded uh, to ConceptWorks, then it would enter the engineering phase. Within the engineering phase, it's dependent on who we're working with and what materials we were provided up front. For architectural millwork needs, again, a lot of times we're working with architects or designers that have sent AutoCAD uh, 2D drawings to us for us to work off of. With those AutoCAD 2D drawings, we a lot of times put that into Microbellum just because that is a, a AutoCAD software and it is still in 2D. In the 2D, we are looking for approval drawings that the architect and owner will then review for approval prior to ConceptWorks fabricating. Once we receive approval on the Microbellum 2D prints, from the architect, designer, and owner, then we are able to use that software to create our own systems of cutting, CNC, and different files that are used for the actual assembly of those cabinets or architectural millwork, easing the process and decreasing the engineering on our end to keep projects on budget. The other side of our business, retail fixtures, a lot of times, as we mentioned in previous videos, we receive either renderings or napkin sketches of what the designer marketing team might want uh, it to be the end product. So in those instances, we use a SolidWorks engineering software. SolidWorks allows us to build 3D models of the parts that are being proposed and within these parts we are able to create sub-assemblies and also we are able to create 3d renderings for the customer to approve the nice thing about using the solidworks file is the fact that it is in 3d so we're actually able to spin the model and show the customer real life images of the of the fixtures once these renderings are approved from the customer then ConceptWorks is able to continue creating part drawings inside of SolidWorks for our fabrication team to then assemble the displays or retail fixtures to, again decreasing the amount of engineering time needed and once again making sure that our budget is still within reach.